Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Bearham Engines on this fine Monday afternoon. Right guys, what have we been up to today? Uh, now my plan of getting straight back to work, as in doing actual paid work, has not quite gone to plan today. And there's a reason for that. Um, I've decided while I'm in carpentry mode to let's get the door done. Now, before I show you this door, and this is the slidey door that covers the big two and a half meter hole. Before I show you this, it is square, it is sturdy. We have hang, hung it up, um, but the bracing in the middle is a little bit mosaic-y, okay? So don't knock me on that. Um, but it's only because I was using over the leftover wood. So that is the door frame there, guys. I have a slight adjustments to do, but you can see that the general idea. So what I've done, I bought a nice sort of barn type door hanger off the top, it's four meters long. Um, don't quite come to the end because this is slightly over four meters, but what I'm gonna do, I've had to turn the door around and there's a reason for that is because it very, very slightly bows that way. Um, so it just means when it's shut, it fits a little bit better. Um, so I've got to move that bracket over there about a foot and then that will come to a stop there when the door's shut. Um, there is little stops to go on either end. Um, that's all I've got to do there. I'm going to, you can see there the sort of if you ever look down the end, the gap that I've got, I've probably got about 15 mil gap there. So what I'm gonna do is just um, ply one side, well, ply both sides and just clad the, the front side white. Um, I've got to counter bore those bolts into the wood there so they don't catch on the beam. Um, just little bits of finicky, but you can see there the sliding, the sort of sliding action, how easy that slides over, guys. Um, it's all you need really, isn't it? So that's what I'm doing now. Um, to stop the door from flapping about down the bottom, look, I've ordered, again, off Amazon, a little sort of wheel that bolts to the bottom of that frame leg down the other side of there. Um, the door sort of sits in there. You can adjust this wheel. There's a little wheel in there as well. Um, and it just slides in there and stops it from flapping about. But that is all we need, guys. Um, we'll get a little, uh, We'll get a handle on it once it's all cladded up. And yeah, I'm really happy with that. So we sort of got our door working. So that just partitions this off from the workshop at the back. Um, and, with a five and a, with a two and a half meter opening, it means that we can get a car through here um, and straight onto the ramp and vice versa. So that's been my little project for today, guys. Isaac has been um, he's been he's got four cranks to balance this week so I think he's been cracking on with one or two today so he's done a little video on that he's got a new iPhone 15 the boy splashing right out and I think one of the main reasons is to do the videos and get some nice quality um, but unfortunately he said the mics don't fit his because it's a USB-C so he's got to get an adapter but anyway He's gonna show you in a minute, so let me know what Isaac's, um, the quality of Isaac's phone's like compared to mine, if it differs. If his is a lot better, then I might have to change my phone. Who knows? Can't have him having better quality than me, can I? Uh, so yeah, that's what I've been doing today. Um, what else have I been doing? We've just having, been having a general sort out, really. So we've got Isaac's stuff over here. This is all his Subaru stuff. So I've dedicated this top box for him it's got all these nice clean new bits and, and what have you in there. And then the bottom shelf of here is, again, has got all Isaac's stuff in there. Um, and then we've got the cylinder heads, etc., on top. Now I've had a, a chat with Sam from Tintin Express and Sam's gonna come in and have a look at these surfaces before we start marking, marking them up. I'm probably gonna go for a clear PPF or something on the top of these um, just to keep them protected so we don't scratch all the stainless up. I think it's wise considering how much we've spent on them guys. But, um, but yeah, so as I say, my plan, I'm starting back to actual work today, has not really turned out very good, but I'm pleased about the door. So we haven't got a lot of work to do on the door. And um, that needed to be done to keep the dust, etc., out, didn't it? Um, oh, the boys have had a good clear out of the cylinder head area. So they've started sorting things out 
over at the back there. You can see, and what we've done is we've sort of taken most of the, the, the tubs of washers, copper washers and all the bits and bobs like that and putting them in the snap-on toolbox over there, which we're going to sort of permanently keep there. Uh, maybe stick a plant on the top when it's all decorated, make it look a bit homely uh, for when people come in. And what I've done is dedicated this corner unit, which I'm going to call my area, I suppose. Um, top box is free, the top drawer. And then we've got all my snap-on tools sort of laid out in the drawers um, all the way down. Not all snap-on mind. Some of them are Halfords expert. But... Um, so yeah, that's as far as I'm going. I'm going to hand you over to Isaac now and he's going to show you a little bit of the old balancing in case you forgot. Right then guys, so it's Monday and as promised, we're getting back to doing some proper work. Um, trying to stay out of the clean area for a minute. So yeah, I'm just trying to get some of the cranks that I've had sort of stacking up balanced. Uh, this is one from Paul Dove, an Alfa Romeo. That's a full assembly balance. So we've got the crank, front pulley, and then here we've got the clutch and flywheel. And then also from Paul Dove, we've got another clutch and flywheel. So I've got to balance that clutch and flywheel to this dummy crank for Paul, and obviously that one as well. And then we've got a 1275 Mini. That's also a full balance, end to end. Well, I've already started balancing this one. You can see I've took a little bit off there. Um, and I think it's about 20 out. Right, so it started off around 40, now we're about 30. So we keep going with that, get that balanced. Right, so that's the Alpha partially done there. Finished the crank uh, and front pulley so you can see sort of all around here take, taking some material off fair amount there a fair amount there um and a little bit there as well yeah this one was a little bit worse than normal it sort of balanced the front end and that was all good and then moved to the back obviously with no flywheel did that and then the front end needed more and then it sort of shifted back and forwards quite a bit so a little bit unusual but it's all seem all seems to be good now so now i've just bolted the flywheel on there so yeah it's just tight just got to balance the flywheel now and then we'll stick the clutch on so i've just popped the clutch on there just finished doing the flywheel that's all done all balanced um so let's spin this up and see how bad the clutch is So, not quite as bad as the flywheel, about 15 out. So let's uh, try not to make this one look like Swiss cheese and get it balanced. So what I'll probably do is I'll use these existing uh, dowel holes and just sort of widen them out because there's not too much to come out. So I should only have to do that. Uh, but yeah, so so I'll get that done. So that is the clutch and the full assembly all balanced now. You can see there, I ended up having to drill in there. I couldn't use these holes because all the weight that needed to come out was in this area. So, you know, got to do what you got to do. I'll get this marked up so that, uh, marked up in line with TDC. It's already a dot. Paul must have already put a dot on this flywheel at TDC, uh, but I'll do some on the clutch there so he knows where he needs to line that up. But yeah, all done. So, mate, what do you think about me door? Well, I think it's a little bit see-through at this point. A little but... bit, a little bit sort of. Now let me run you through what I've done now. We've got a little bit of a gap at the bottom because that's because it's a bit flappy here. Well, we do work with intolerances, so we do. That's a, just... um, so what I've done is pulled, is sort of pulled the rail in, so when it gets to your, it pulls in nice and tight. And then Very what nice. I shall do is put like a little guide down the bottom, so when it gets shut, it sits against the guide. Because if you oh, have a look right. at this end, look, we've got our little roller there, which we've set in. 
Very um, nice. And I've got a block at the back so it stays in the in the guide all the time. Yeah. Okay, and then when we fully open, we've still got this bit protruding here, which is fine because we've still got 200, about 220 mil. Yeah, well, plus. 200, yeah, two, means two we can meters. have a handle on there. We've got a handle on there, can't into we? The either wall. side. So, what we're going to do now, nice thin sheet of ply nice. on this side and the other side. And we're going to white clad this side for the okay. time being. And then that, my friend, it's job done, isn't it? Jobs are good. Make a hell of a difference. Yeah. It'll Keep finish, the finish this room off, I think. It will do. I'm happy about that. Yeah. And I think Ray's going to be impressed with that. So you can see now I've got little you, stops up the top. You, you showed him the rail already. Show showed him the rail, yeah. but we'll just see the little stops there. Stop up at the end here. Nice. One, one the other side. Lovely job, Lee. So... You've been balancing today, mate, haven't you? Yeah, a bit of, bit of balancing. A little bit of balancing. What yeah. have you balanced today? Uh, just pulled up one of Paul Dove's cranks. Okay. And then... Uh, so tomorrow, yeah. all being well, we'll get the old V8 timed up. Yeah, yeah, we need it? to do that. Because we haven't got a great deal left to do on this V8, have we? Well, no, I've already timed it up roughly, as in it's... Uh, the dots are lined up on the okay, on the old as if sprockets. it was a standard yeah, pulley on but, there. So we just got to do the vernier. And then what setup. have we got else to go on there? We've got many bits, rockers and all that, or not? Oil oil pump, which is incorporated in the front cover. We yeah. ain't got any rockers, and then it's just the sump. So and you get it out the door. Get it out the door. Lovely job, Lee. And then we've got that other V8. You're going to be doing some more on the second channel on the Subaru. Now you've yep. got a, your oh. nice little bay at the end there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Dedicated. The legacy will that. be with us shortly. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, what do you think about the new workspace then, mate? Absolutely love it. You love it. Spoiled, just, aren't we, really? Yeah. yeah, we are. It's just like everywhere you look, you just think, oh, oh, okay, this is nice. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, we've got Brad in this week doing the um, wiring putting the LEDs in and that. It's surprising, like you said, even with all this LED lighting, how sort of dark yeah. it is underneath these it goes cabinets. goes dim under there. But I, I mean, it's not, it's, it's not too, it's probably still better than what it was like, but. I think the reason is, is because it's all black, yeah. it's sort of, you've got the stainless tops which just reflect the black, don't they? Yeah. So it all seems a bit dark, but um, yeah, I've got, nice. um, I've got Sam coming in to have a look at PPF in the top of these. Smart idea. Worry free. Yeah. So it's a bit of a shame to scratch them all up, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, so we'll just have to be a bit careful for a moment. You want to hang on to them for a long time, don't you? You don't want exactly. in five years them to be ruined. No. So, yeah, now I've managed to do the door as far as I have. I've got to wait for Ray, the father in law, to bring some ply. Yeah. Um, because although we've got two vans, we ain't going to be able to get eight for before sheets in there. No. Waste of bloody time they are, isn't it? <laughs> um, so. Yeah, once he's done that, I can just finish them off. So tomorrow, I'm going to be cracking on with this Cosworth, I think. Oh, nice. Um, so I've got to stick the machine, the oil jets, into the base of the block. And then I've got, Paul's been in today with some pistons, so I've got to machine some cutouts for him. Um, we're still waiting for the new crankshaft. That's on back order. Said it would be January, but... Well... Which January? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully back to work tomorrow, mate. Yep, back to normal, normal-ish. That's it. So there we go for another video, guys. Um, actually, today, it does look like this, these units in this area are doing the trick already because we've had three engines um, been booked in today and they're on their way. We've got an RS Turbo engine, the old CVH 1600, which is apparently in bits, um, had some machining, but it needs to be finished off and built to a decent spec. Car's all been restored, and we've got a couple of others. So that is great news. If it is, you know, all this new look that's doing the job. I've had a couple of emails, actually, off some top rally boys. Uh, when I say top rally boys, some sort of known rally boys um, who said, very impressive, and we're thinking of sending an engine in to you. So... Um, you never know, guys. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this does the job and we start getting some really, really good work to do some, um, some fantastic builds and some good footage on. So, yeah, bear with us, guys. As I say, 
in the next video, stay tuned because we're going to be timing up this V8 here to get this one finishing out the door. Um, Isaac's got some more balancing, etc. And I'm just going to run you over that Cosworth there with, um, with putting those oil jets in um, and sort of recapping on the reason I do that. So yeah, until Wednesday's video, guys, have a great evening. We'll see you then. Thank you.